Hi, this is Barry Pearman and welcome to the Turning the Page blog for another week and another episode. Spiritual formation that changes our mental health is found through taking little by little dance steps with God. Richard Foster begins chapter one of his uh, best-selling book, Celebration of Discipline, with these words. Superficiality is the curse of our age. The doctrine of instant satisfaction is a primary spiritual problem. I remember reading this classic 37 years ago. That's a long time ago. That superficiality, that desire for instant satisfaction is still with us and is still a primary spiritual problem. Are you okay with going deep? As I watched my parents have daily devotions together, they would read a portion of the Reaper, a daily devotional put together by various lecturers of a local Bible college. Then I imagine they prayed together. They had habits exercises, disciplines that nurtured their journey of faith. There is something very powerful about the habits we keep. They keep us. My mother kept a habit of Bible reading and it kept her. I wonder if there are some spiritual habits, disciplines or exercises that can help our mental health. One of the deepest things I've learned about knowing God is that if you want to hear the music of the dance, then you have to be on the dance floor. I call it getting in the way. I'm not sure why I call it this, but it has a lot to do with being attentive to what God might be saying and doing, observing everything and anything and asking if God is speaking to me in this. It's a kind of a dance where you are listening to the music and trusting your partner is too. Here is an example from the other day. I was trying to find a very obscure passage of scripture I knew it would be hard to find and I searched and searched and searched. I knew some of the key words and concepts, but I just could not find it anywhere. I knew it was in Deuteronomy, but ah, that's a hard book to read. So I prayed and asked that spirit, holy, would do something about this. My dance partner was listening. (laughs) The next day, I happened to be listening to the end portion of a podcast called The Daily Audio Bible. The speaker was recalling some of the key points of a passage he had just read from Deuteronomy. And there it was. The verse had been disclosed. The Lord, this is the verse, The Lord your God will drive out those nations before you, little by little. You will not be allowed to eliminate them all at once, or the wild animals will multiply around you. Deuteronomy 7.22 The point is that if I didn't have the habit of listening to the podcast, I would most likely have not found the verse. Why that verse? Well, it's the little by little that I like. It's the idea of a millimetre ministry that God was doing in the people of Israel and actually does with us, with you and me. Spiritual formation takes time and it's a partnership dance between us and God. This is why my logo is four dancing spirals, Father, Jesus, Spirit, Holy, and us, turning the page logo. It's all about engagement. That verse points very clearly the idea of partnership, that this was a formation of people as God's work, that God would be the primary force of change, that God would be the one making the changes and would even limit progress for their own benefit. When I hear the words spiritual disciplines, exercises or habits, I think hard work, willpower, struggle and effort. What I think God would like you to hear is a partnership, an invitation, a millimetre and the dance. Richard Foster writes this, Willpower will never succeed in dealing with the deeply ingrained habits of sin. The need of change within us is God's work, not ours. The demand is for an inside job and only God can do this from the inside. In my new series, I will be exploring some of the little by little dance exercises that God uses for the inside job of change. Want to join me on the dance floor? Here's some quotes for you to ponder over. We do not want to be beginners, but let us be first, let us be convinced of the fact that we will never be anything else but beginners all of our life. Thomas Merton. We want to make it quite clear that we cannot purify, we cannot free and purify our own heart by exerting our own will. Heine Arnold. God has ordained the disciplines of the spiritual life 
is the means by which we are placed where he can bless us. Richard Foster. Here's some questions to answer. Leave a comment on the website or leave an anonymous comment via the website. Number one, what is your immediate response to the words spiritual disciplines, exercises, habits? Two, how does the idea of little by off little offer hope into the journey into mental health? Three, what little by little spiritual exercises have helped you and your mental health? Come and visit me at turningthepage.info and if you'd like to support me in what I'm creating here, just go to patreon.com Barry Pearman. Patreon is like Patreon with an E. That's patreon.com forward slash Barry Pearman. And if you like this, sign, this content, then sign up for my newsletter at turningthepage.info and please share it with others through your social networks. Hey, thanks very much for watching, listening, and see you next week.